There was a child. But she's dead. She was killed in a motor accident. No, she wasn't. She was put in a detention camp. She was six years old, and it was almost ten years before she escaped. Ten years! Do you know how many floors and toilets she scrubbed? How many filthy hands pawed her? It was an official confirmation of the accident. They lied, just as you're lying now. Nobody's lying now. We're trying to straighten this out. Oh, sure. All you care about is the truth. Look at you. You're so frightened. What are you afraid of? <sighs> you know what I expected? Or what I hoped? Stupid me. I thought one of you would stand up and hold out her arms to me and call me Elizabeth. And say, how can I ever make this up to you, Elizabeth? <sighs> yes, yeah, stupid me. Exactly. You haven't exactly behaved like a long-lost daughter. If you had reason to believe that one of us was your mother, why didn't you just come to us instead of bringing us together like this? Carrying out some warped vendetta. Against all of us. Because you're all to blame. You and your secret pact and schoolgirl honor. I wanted to make each of you suffer. Well, you've done that. Are you happy now? What else do you want? Still no open arms? Still so afraid? The successful countess is concerned about her position in society. And the famous writer and editor is worried about her image. No. She's learned that you will do anything for publicity, and she's wondering what your angle is this time. And the elegant Lady Swan, with her do-gooder causes, she hides in a bottle. Why all the hiding? Because it was an illegitimate child? No. It's who the child is. Who wants to claim Lily, right? Whore to every man, naked in front of the whole world? Who wants a porno queen for a daughter? You're being ridiculous. You can't just throw something like this at us and expect us to accept it. Not after behaving so viciously. Still sticking together. I'm impressed. It would be so easy for two of you to save your fancy skins. All you have to do is point a finger. Fine characters were molded in that expensive school. But I wonder, would you still make your denials if I were respectable? What you call respectable. What you are has nothing to do with it. Not much. Suppose Lily was a concert pianist, or a woman of society, or even a nice suburban housewife. Then what? Then there would be tears and apologies and appeals for forgiveness. But not a single tear. No. Pagan suffers for the sick 
And Judy weeps over dead soldiers, and Maxine cries for her son, but not a tear for Lily. And you know what? I don't care. Not a damn. I know you now, each of you. I know who you are and what kind of women you are, and none of you is good enough to be my mother. Now get out! Oh, don't worry. You can each have what you came for. Print your interviews with me, Judy. I'll back up every word. And Pagan, your cancer society will have the benefit premiere of my film. And don't worry, I have nothing more to do with your little boy. Just get out. I was born in Chateau de Switzerland. I was born on November 17th, 1960. The doctor's name was Genest. I was raised by Angelina and Felix Dassa until they were murdered. They always told me that my real mother would come for me someday. She never did. <laughs> <laughs> 